Welcome back to Five Day Crypto. My name is Chase. Today, a Bitcoin video. Of all the things you thought you were going to see today, maybe this is the least of your expectations. Maybe you thought I was dead. Well, I got news for you. Not dead. Snake says so. Okay. So Bitcoin on the daily chart. We are outside the Bollinger Bands a hot minute ago, back in late March. And then we made a quick and very swift, right? Move to the bottom of the bands. Have we seen this before? Yes. We'll get to that in a minute. We're going to look at the weekly chart as well, and we're going to look at some tips and tricks uh, to maybe make you a little bit better of a trader. Look at things from a different perspective. Okay, uh, so what do we have? Well, besides this move, which is starting to become bearish, right, uh, to say the least, uh, we want to look at, you know, the bear side and the bull side. So that's what you should do. As a trader, you want to be looking at both sides and not be on one side of the train tracks or another, because sooner or later, that'll get you uh, in a collision. Okay, and those don't tend to work out well. Okay, so what do we got? Well, remember this whole trend line uh, that everyone and their brother was talking about and then the, the ascending triangle, which which was, it was, it was an ascending triangle, right? Uh, and then w we broke out of it and, you know, everyone's happy, right? And you should be, right? This was, uh, you know, forming for, uh, you know, since January. And what to confirm this as an ascending triangle, we would have had to have held support right here at 44.5. Why 44.5? It's the previous tops, right? You break previous resistance, uh, it should flip to support. Guess what we didn't do? Flip it to support. We broke right through. And we went on this day, uh, this daily close, we were dropping all the way into close. That's why you don't see a wick lower, right? We didn't have any rebound. It was just straight, straight bare close, right? And those tend to not be good. Uh, so what we we had a day or two to recover that level and we did not do it we didn't even get back above the 21 day ema and the yellow there right uh and then you might wonder what that red line is that's the eight day ema uh that tends to be a nice support level or uh, a resistance level uh when things get moving quickly which we are now and you can see as of late in the past few days we've held that as resistance so guess what's going to happen if we come back up to it? Resistance. You guessed it. Good job. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, this is all but a confirmed bull trap, right? This is a fake out. This is a fake out. Uh, this, it's not fun, uh, but yeah, that's what we have. Now, how low could we go? I'm glad you asked. Well, we could go with, uh, potentially right here, right? This could be our bounce. And what, what are the odds of that happening? I would say not so great, right? Uh, for a permanent low, right? I think we're going to need to go and test somewhere near 38K, 37K, and this will be the pivot point, right? We need to watch this like a hawk. Uh, if we lose that level and we make a lower low, we're going, in my opinion, at least to test this low and probably likely uh, the previous local lows way back last summer, uh, 30k 30 to 35k if if it's a big if right asterisk uh, if we close under this level close close must be close okay so if we close under that low which is there's the low at the top 37580 we close under there on a daily we're very the odds skyrocket that we're testing at least 35 to 30k or maybe even lower okay um, so having said all that what could we do? Could we flip up to the upside? Yes, we could. Well, let's look at this from a different perspective, like I said. So here's your downtrend, right? Your downtrend, and you're trying to form these higher lows, which we're doing. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe the bears are looking at us from a different perspective. Maybe the bulls need a different perspective, right? So, um, again, till we take out that low, we're still okay. But if you want to look at it from a different angle, sometimes it can help you confirm your bias or not. So let's say this is this is called an inverted chart, right? So we inverted. So when you're going up now, look at the prices, right? You want to keep your prices uh, in mind because this can get confusing if you start flipping around and you think you're looking at one way and not the other, right? So um, now if you're a bull and something like this is happening, you want to break these downtrends, right? And then hold it as support. So what we'd be looking for uh, to flip, you know, bearish, right? Because prices this way are going down you see that so if we break up and then come back and confirm and hold this and then go back the other way well i got bad news for you that's that's uh you know for the bears that's going to be a big win uh for the bulls that's a big l okay 
So um, invert chart, and you can see the different perspectives can help greatly. Okay, and not only that, remember this this chart right here, right? There's your low that we need to keep. Flip it back, right? Um, let's let's keep that in perspective. Let's remove random dots that are annoying the hell out of me. Uh, right? So there you go. So that's what we want to be looking for. So if we want us to turn back bullish again, right? We need to get, you know, so-called rejected on the inverted chart and come back in here. So ideally, we would have a flip around here sometime in the not so distant future. Maybe we do something like that and then come back this way, right? That would look good. This this one right here, right? So that's potential what could happen. I just don't think that's the odds so far. After you have a kind of confirmed uh, uh, bull trap, which we have now, and a failed, you know, many week uh, ascending triangle, which is confirmed now. We failed that ascending triangle that we started way back in January uh, to turn macro bullish again this quickly is the odd that that's not the odds. Okay, the odds are uh, we're going down, uh, and at least at this level, at the very minimum, right? That's the odds uh, based on the charts, based on the patterns, plain and simple, right there. Okay, so plain and simple. There's your first test. If we fail that, uh, there's your next test. If we fail that, we're going to at least 30K, okay? Uh, if not, even lower, okay? Um, so now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that have we seen this move before? Well, yeah. Look, See, see. look at this. Notice this press out of the top of the bands and the press down very quickly, right? After making a new fresh high, right? Keep that in mind, right? So you might say, well, what about this one? No, that's at the bottom of this trend, right? So no, uh, let's go back, right? Here's a new fresh high. This looks pretty pretty familiar. Obviously, no ascending triangle, but I mean, here's a pop up, uh, fresh high pressing outside of the Bollinger Bands, a uh, failed quick breakdown, right, right to the bottom, top to bottom, and then uh, press down outside. Uh, it looks very familiar. Uh, this looks very similar to the move we're in now. Press up, failed breakdown really quickly within about ten days, and then uh, you, you know you press back up. And look at Mr. 8-Day EMA holding as perfect uh, resistance for most of this. So uh, keep that in mind. Add that to your chart. If we fail to break above and close above the 8-Day EMA, uh, we have more of, you know, the black diamond ski slopes ahead, okay? Um, so let's, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's, it's, almost, it's almost verbatim from that move right there, okay? So uh, we move up. There's your 8-Day EMA right now at 40, just over 42K. So if it happens tomorrow, that's going to be a little bit lower, uh, 41.5. So keep that in mind. If we go up there today, that's probably the odds, right? You got, you got, that's all you got, the odds in crypto. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Uh, and to get too deterministic on what you think is going to happen based on someone else's narrative or because it's April, price must go up, you're going to eventually get in that head-on collision that I've been talking about. So uh, you want to be like water and shift your opinion based on the charts and not any kind of narrative okay so i hope that uh resonates well with someone out there so um let's go look at the gaussian channel on the five day it's been a hot second all right so five day we've just turned red um that's not great but the silver lining so far is we're not outside of the bottom of the channel right we can wick down that's fine if we close out here uh then the then the the bears would take another swipe right that would, that would not be great because when's the last time we've closed outside of the bottom of the channel? Well, right way back in the pandemic, but the channel was still green, right? So we, I mean, we had to go way back. So we're looking like way, way back yonder 2018 when we went from green to red in a downtrend, right? So that's, that's, that's been a minute, right? August, 2018, last time that happened, right? That's so far. I mean, there's, there's your, uh, it's not it's not me making stuff up. This is the charts showing into your face. So if we get a close under 38.8, right? That's that same level of that kind of low, right? That that kind of 37, 38k. If we close under that, there's a lot more bearish uh, evidence, right? That's coming out. If these are all ifs, right? Not saying it's gonna happen, but if you start seeing uh, Bitcoin closing under, you know, 38, 39, 37. There's, you need to start paying attention. Okay. So um, that is that, as they say. Now look at the bands. Look at the five day Bollinger bands, how narrow they're getting. A bigger move is coming. We don't know if it's up or down yet. Nobody knows if it's up or down. Now, um, 
let's look at one more the bigger picture the the weekly right let's look at the weekly right so the the bollinger band or the the gaussian channel and the weekly is still good although it's starting to level off here we certainly don't want to see that turn red um that's that's been uh that's been a little bit longer uh we're going way back same time frame so we're kind of looking like maybe right in here right now we can still save it we don't want to turn down but okay so that's not what i really want to show you what i really want to be showing you is Again, the, those this inverted chart here, but on the weekly, it looks maybe a little bit more bullish. So let's let's look at what I'm what I'm talking about here. It's not me, it's not my opinion. We're gonna look at it, and you can decide for yourself, right? So look at this little little trend line, right? And you might say that's yeah, not very much. That's not a great trend line, but you do have one weekly, two, three, four, five, six weekly touch points. So if we break outside of this, yeah, that wouldn't be great, right? Uh, downtrend, but invert it right look at this uptrend right pretend these are great candles right and this looks more a little bit more like a loose uh uh, uh bull flag right going you know nice rise up taper down so what we would you know you want to look for is you look at these highs right high lower high lower high lower high lower high you would think that by this pattern it looks like maybe you'd reject off of that right and then so i mean look i mean Keep it, keep in mind these prices, right? They're, the prices are going up here. This is the inverted chart. So what we would want to look for uh, is uh, a break of this line, right? In order for the bears to take over, right? So you'd have to have a clear break, uh, lose loss of that level, right? These these lower candles, these highs, uh, and pretend this is bullish, and you'd want to break that, and then confirm on that line, and then you know back back to 30k right up in this area so in, in inverted whoops wrong button <clears throat> uh, invert that back to regular right so now you can kind of see uh hopefully beyond my picasso drawings uh there you go so inverting the chart can sometimes help you look at it from a different perspective so again that level very key 37 6 38 something right around that 30k level you do not want to lose that right uh, so hopefully, you know, that makes a little bit more sense to some of you. So uh, there you go. All your moving averages are tight. That's going to, you know, act as resistance, at least for this initial test. So um, the odds right now for me are simply leaning a little bit more bearish, uh, unfortunately. So um, it, we have a chance to reverse, but it's going to, this is the most critical price in Bitcoin right now. If we lose that level, if we lose that, we're, we're in at least the several more months of bear to crab uh territory in my book so uh take that for what you will we'll try to keep you updated as best as possible um uh, altcoins i mean if bitcoin you got to keep in mind if bitcoin's going down here uh altcoins are going to get absolutely hammered and destroyed so uh join our telegram if you want some more help than what you got so far today so uh quarter of the day we are no longer happy so soon as we wish to be happier deep thoughts Car of the day, throwback, Lamborghini Countach. I watched Wolf of Wall Street for like the thousandth time uh, <laughs> last week. So that's that's why I ended my mind. I usually just do whatever car comes to my mind first. So there you go, Countach. That one's, that one's pretty nice. Good shape one can get you a lot of money. All right, meme of the day. That's it. All right, I'll see you on the next one at some point. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how this video does, and I'll hope to see y'all real soon. Cat's got my eyes on you.